Well, I missed the whole reel. This this reel was locked up. You couldn't see it anywhere, but right here you can see where it's burned in there. So I got to take it down to that spot and get that out of there, and just re top shot it. That's what the customer wants. So we're gonna knock that out because it's you know basically a splice every five yards or so. So it's not even worth trying to save at this point. like that's the last burn right there to that fridge go ahead and top shot it for him man that was a good one I can't believe I didn't catch it sorry guys just not on my game just yet Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Sartuccia here. And I've got this G2 MXL that uh, I missed. They, they couldn't get the braid out. It was locked up. And um, I actually got it out pretty quickly, but still it'll be cool to watch. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is top it off for him so he can get back to fishing. I guess we can go, go, go with the 80 pound on this one. I don't know why I'm tightening that up. I need it loose so I can go and get these splices in.
go. 140 yards, a top shot of 80, 16 strand quartering on this MXL G2. And go ahead and close that out with this loop in right here. And this will be a stack of three reels that I'm going to do. Let's see the next two here in just a second. Here's the second one, and this is the one that was shipped to us, so we're going to go and knock this out. He wants... Um, 450 yards of blue. Actually, he wants 450 yards of white. He actually called us back let us know that he wanted to switch the, uh, the colors on that, so... Sold out of white right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back with them and let him know. So either he wants to change his colors or go with the same color or wait till I get more white in. Yeah. Yeah, not good. Alright guys, so he decided to go with the chartreuse and the 40 pound and then top shot it with the blue 80. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out. And get this one done.
So there's the 450 yards of 40 that he wanted. Just going to strip this off and go and get into the 80. And he wanted blue. And this was after a video I did. Um, just pulling a red rail with it and he saw how the blue looked on top. So this is why we do the library because it gives people options of what they can do and how we can work it. And that's the beautiful thing with dealing with the hollow core too. It enables us to be able to make these little things happen that become a big deal for every customer. They can get to pick and choose and it's so awesome. That's a good distance right there for, well, I can get those five yards, it'll be, it'll be okay. So he's got a total of 600 yards of line on here. We got 450 yards of 16 strand, 40 pound, topped off with 250 yards, or 150 yards, sorry, of 80 pound as a top shot of the Cortland 16 strand. On this MXL Raptor and this is a good height for casting that's the other thing we do if y'all are new to the channel and within our library we do these spooling videos because it gets the knowledge of each reel that we do and we spool out and you know what your options are because normally with the MXLs you, we do 60 to 100 or 60 to 80 or 60 all the way across 80 all the way across 100 all the way across it just really opens up the door to so much knowledge of what can be done you know or 40 all the way across it don't matter but with the hollow cord we can splice in and put these lines together with no knots and it really does a fine finish so there you go guys if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel you'll need to do so give us a thumbs up also copy the link to our youtube channel and share it to all the social media so we can grow and blow up because the faster we grow the more our sponsors take notice and the more stuff they give if you're new like i said i would do some homework and check out the prior videos of our channel and see how much stuff we've done you know with our, our sponsors and what they've done for our youtube channel as well Got a lot of giveaways and so forth so stay tuned guys we got a lot of growing to do